Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to another exciting and informative tutorial in our tutor. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create walk cycle animation in After Effects. So get ready to learn this concept. Friends, if you new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on this bell icon for regular updates from our, our tutor. If you want to learn personally, you can mail to my email rtutor1 at the rate gmail.com. So I can teach you online personally. And also you can check my Dribble Art Station and apply accounts by clicking these icons. If you are interested to create character animations but you don't know how to make them, so this is the correct tutorial for you and you don't worry that you don't know how to create characters. You don't need to create characters for creating animations. You always find great free stuff from a lot of sites but I personally prefer freepick.com where you can find a lot of free vector files Vector characters, a lot of free things to create your motion graphics and as well as character animation. As I'm making the character walk cycle, I'm going to search for characters. Choose vectors and from license, choose for free. Yeah, here you got a lot of free vector characters these are all free for you you can use them for your motion graphic projects so i'm going to choose one character among all this free stuff let's pause here and i'll get back with my downloaded character yeah friends and this is the character that I'm going to use for our animation tutorial and I'll give this link in our description you can go to this link and you can download this character if you want to create animation with the same character if you want to create your own characters for your animation then you can always learn how to create great animation characters from our channel so if you type this address in your address bar you'll get our channel so from there you can go to see you can see a lot of characters so go to character design playlist and you can find a lot of character designing tutorials here So go to our channel and also watch our character creation tutorials also. If you really want to create your own custom characters for your animation. Okay friends, here is the files I got from the free pick. So here I got EPS format, not the AA format. But that's not a problem. I'm going to open that in Illustrator. Okay. And I don't want all this. Mm. 
I like this pose, but here we have one eye is blue. Let me take this. This one, this one, like that. So now I'm going to delete all these can delete them all. Delete. Let's check our output size. Our output size is seven. Yeah. So we can increase the size of the character up to the scale. And now it's time to separate the character limbs. Animating with shadows is difficult, so as this is the basic tutorial, I'm not making the things complex. Remove unnecessary things from our character, like the shades and this kind of thing. So, as well. We do very minimal animation here, so don't bother about this. But here we need two parts of the leg, like the upper part of the leg and the lower part of the leg separately. But here we got a problem that this shape is completely combined, so don't worry for that. Double click on this to go inside of the path and then go to scissor tool, click on this point and here also. So the pool, the two parts are split. You got two separate parts now. But here the path is not closed. Okay. So just select that one, press control shift. J, I think control J, yeah, you can see now the path is closed, but for here the path is not closed. Again, click control J, now you can see the both paths are closed now. Bring them closer, but to animate this kind of sharp edges are not preferable. Because if you rotate, if you rotate your leg like this, see, you got a sharper edges there. So, so what what can we do now? Very simple. Just go to pen tool. So when you when you Pen is on the path, it will show a plus symbol. But if you come out of the path, there is no plus symbol. You find it? Yeah. Now click in the middle. You got another point added. With this tool, selection, bring it up. And then you got a little circle here, which means you can make it rounded corners, so drag down like that. So you got a 
rounded corners there. like that and let's do the same with this leg also with our pen tool a little bit there to add angle point with our selection tool bring it down so where we get a triangle kind of shape so it's with all these three and with the circles drag it like that to get a round of smooth corners and now you can see okay let's check it by rotating and see that see now we have smooth corners here which we want for animation. Let's ungroup this for instance. Go to right click on the character, click on where is ungroup. 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 We got things separately. And and for back legs, we don't need to repeat that again, but bring it side. We can do get this one by selecting these shapes, press and hold Alt and drag them to make them duplicate. And apply this color to this. Select them, go to eyedropper, and click on the shape to grab the color from that shape. Okay. And then select all of them, bring them into the position of a pelvis. See here. We got shape like this, but it here it is inverted. So select that one, right click, transform, reflect or else. We select that one, go to transform, click for gentle. Select all this and click them. And send them back because these are the back legs. We don't want them on the very top of our character. So I click on them, arrange, send to back. The shortcut for that is shift plus control plus left angle bracket that's it and we don't need this anymore so select this one and then delete it press delete button to delete that one and now Let's make our things separate groups. So this face is in separate group, which we can use it for animation. And this overall hand is in separate group as we have books 
that means weight in our hands so we can't separately move so we move our hands straightly not like moving this only the elbow part separately and the upper part separately like while we are walking free freely so we don't need two separate parts for this one so keep it like this but while we here we have a challenge while we are animating of course we can't move that form like that so we only move short like this okay but we have problem with our bag so select the bag shape and with our selection direct selection tool drag it like this to select these two parts and bring them up like that so they will go back to your body part something like that if you want you can like that okay and you see here she hold phone in her other hand you know you can give little movement like this because mobile weights not too much you can move your hand like that so yeah, what i feel is the interaction of her eye with phone is not proper so i want to adjust her head with respect to the mobile so what can i do for that while i'm meeting we you can move only up to from the neck part not the shoulder part so i separate that from press control x select the torso part and press control shift p so that it will paste in place in the torso part just this little bit no got flat so for neck also avoid the short edges direction to to bring them down select these two give them smooth curve so we will animate our head like this so twist it a little bit okay no i think the interaction is proper now right from here to here yeah we have this one separate this one separate this one must be separate 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 right this one separate So good friends now we have we have different i mean separate parts so select the complete character now and go to our layers where are layers here if you can't find your layers go to windows and here you you can have the layers or else you can press f7 shortcut key for bring up the layers panel this one i don't need and the background also don't need you can unlock it and select that layer and delete that one okay now select this character drag drag from top to bottom so our character is selected completely without leaving any shape and from the layers panel you have these three 
stack of lines right so you click on that to bring up the more options and then go to release two layer sequence okay we did that so now what happened you see every part is separated with different layers layer one layer two layer three like that before that all that are in single layer i'll show you press ctrl z see there are no layers but the different path layers are there so all are in single layer press ctrl z again to bring up all layers select all these layers drag them up and release above the objects layer like that so this we don't need anymore delete that one so we have separate layers for everything if you want you can label your name or else you can also label i mean you can also name your layers in after effects but you can name them here itself this one double tap there to rename the layer i think it's the right right okay right upper like give them appropriate names or else you can see while animating them in after effects right lower leg right shoe left upper leg left lower leg and this is left shoe this one is our torso or else if you don't understand the torso name you can give it body and this one our head right not ours character head and this is right hand right hand Left hand. This is bag, and this one is bag belt. Okay, so we got different layers with their appropriate names. So file save as and choose Adobe Illustrator format. Name it character. Okay, friends. Now we have successfully. Prepare our character to bring it up in After Effects to make the animation. So our part of our job in illustration is done. So you can close that application. And now open your After Effects on the left side panel. Here, right click, choose Import and File and then surf for your character so mine is mine is your character exactly so here it's so after you select the character don't forget to change the option import as if you import it as a footage your file will be imported with single layer it will not maintain the layers remember so choose composition Retain layer sizes, that is the proper option to import layers with uh, 
separate la with, with layers and as well as uh, animation compatibility. So you can. We are ready now. Click on the import button. Yeah. So you see, as the character we imported, it imported with the composition, right? Or it imported with composition. So double click that. Here you have your character ready. See that? All the layers, all the layers, all the layers. The na layer names are also not changed. These are all the names that we name in Illustrator itself. Okay. Okay, we imported our character also. Now what? Friends, we need to set pivot points to our layers, means joints areas. If you select this one, it have its registration point in the center. If you rotate with rotation tool, see it will rotate from center, but it should have to rotate from actual hip joint, right? So to do that, go to this tool, pan behind our anchor point tool. So click hit this point and bring it up to our hip location. It's actual location. Now see it's rotating from hip joint. Let's adjust it and see what is the correct location for that. Anyhow, we we don't rotate that this much of extent. Forget to make the rounded corners for the upper legs in this part, but not for the one. Not for this one. Here. And here. Just and <coughs> yeah, it's perfect. Now for this one. From it should rotate from and from join. So keep there. Perfect. Like for back leg also. This one. I did for a second. Just to see the proper position of this leg. Where this one is this? Perfect. Where this one is. For this one is shoulder joint there. For this, it's here.
keep it behind all this layer because No one can unhide them with whatever we had in before. Now our character get ready for the animation, but here we got the challenge. While moving, while walking the character, it will um, like we'll see head up and down, up and down, up and down. When the legs are stretched, it looks down. When the leg is center, it is move up. So go to the rulers, press control R. Go to the rulers. Bring two rulers. One and two. Okay, let's let's go paint. Move them up a little bit. This is visible backlight. Don't forget to save your project because sometimes after effects any of the parts will close suddenly and you will lose suddenly. Of course, even though you have auto save, you may leave, lose some extent of work. So to avoid that, always save. Press Control S. Limit. This world of it. Okay, friends, now our character is ready with proper pivot positions. And now we should have to parent them to their, I mean, you have to link them to their parent layers like. This is the child of this part, and this is the child of this part, and this controls the overall leg, and this becomes child of our body. So let's play it with the pick whip tool. This is the pick whip tool to get the things bind. I mean the parent them. So right shoe to the right lower leg and right lower leg to the right upper leg. You see now if you rotate the right upper leg, the overall leg is being rotating, right? That's what we want. Like the same. For the left shoe, the left lower leg, for the left lower leg, left upper leg, like that. And for the hand, it will link to the body, head also to the body, back belt is also to the body, right upper leg is also to the body, right lower leg is also to the body. This one is also to the body itself. If you move the body, all the body layer, all the parts will go. Okay, we missed two them. 
राइट दस तक राइट so except the body every part is linked so let's take a new null object which is the main parent for our body now we should link it to body part if you move that null object the overall character is also moving with that that's nice rename that select the layer press enter to rename it controller name it controller okay so now we are ready to animate it okay select all these layers and now press r shortcut on to bring up the rotation option from its transformations and click on the stopwatch to make it a keyframe for all the layers so we got keyframes for every layer and after 6 frame press them again okay we got on the keyframe so here in this keyframe will change the posture i mean the pose of the character okay so then do it go to 12 frames first press the button let's change this to this one here they are moving but very robust right so now again give me six frame select all the layers once again of course we are only animating the legs for now but we we'll animate the main parts also along with the legs so that's keep key frames for every layer from here to this one like this so here we should rotate this one like this this one 
things. This pose, we should move our body a little bit. Little bit up. See? Rotate the body in this point. Select that position. Like that. Okay, so we actually animating rotation. Let's see if we can see it. We need position for the body. So, with the body, we don't need to skip it the pool. Rotation also, but select the body part. It it's press shift plus click on P on your keyboard to bring up the position. Keyframe that position as where you have keyframes for rotation also. And now come back to this keyframe. And then move it up close. Now you'll get little swing like that. See? You got that swing right? Yeah. When this is like this, car work. This hand will be a little backward. But where it's, it's come center, hand is also come center. From this position, it will move a little bit forward itself. We need this belt, this back belt. This hand should be at the top of every layer. Like that. And this is overlapping those. No problem. Let's mask it. With the clear selected, if you draw something on that. It will add mask to that. Whatever the shape you draw, that drawing maintains inside that. No, it's perfect, right? Then it's down. You're pushing your body up. That means. It will move a little downwards like that. And um, also a little, uh, I'm sorry, I think we didn't set pivot for hand. Okay, move it a little upwards, not too much like this, but a little bit, little bit. Because every, because every cellar animation is very important to give more liveliness to your animation. Don't forget to give at least minimum cellar animations to every individual part. 
let me sort out the parts we have joints neck for neck we have neck joint Ooh, isn't it? Yeah. And now let's go to twenty four frames. Twenty four frames. Go to twenty four frames. And select every layer again. See here again the first pose will repeat. Don't forget whatever the first pose is there that will repeat there. So select all these keyframes. Control C. Go to frame 12 and 24 and press Control V. So, I think he duplicated the layers. Not that. Let's go layer by layer. Select this keyframe, Control C, and in the 24th frame, press Control V, and let this one. Let's see, Control V. Do like that to all the layers. And see, you can check that move the timeline, move the timeline indicator. It's moving. Move position. Go to the middle frame, which is 80. We need another keyframe here. So press all the layers, press all the layers, select all the layers, click on the rotation here. Not on the don't for don't accidentally click on this stopwatch again because. If you click on that again, that means you remove all the keyframes. See, like that. So don't do that. Click the um, pointer here, right? Add or remove keyframe the current time. So click on that. Now you added keyframes for the rotation to all the layers again. We need for position also for the body. So uh, click on that one. Now our body will move a little up right. So I want to bring this keyframe. Remove this one. So copy this keyframe because it will maintain the same movement there also. So paste it here. And It's moving right, but this position bit. Again, here it's moving down. 
if you want you can then bring this keyframe to the place control C and as the time man and get is here press control V so you got the same keyframe there also and check it now guys to make it loop so as of animation is ending here keep the there and press N on your keyboard that will end it here now if you want go to composition trim work area trim comp to work area that means your overall work area this is trim to the composition like that now press spacebar to check your animation see you got a full work cycle animation my character's moving hand with mobile our hand with mobile is moving too much right so make that action subtle pop that keyframe and give it here also no see so i think completely you need that animation Okay, guys. Somehow, your feeling the walk cycle is little robust, right? So, to avoid that, we should give. Keyframe interpolation, which makes our animation smoother. Like ease in, ease out. Select all the keyframes. You also select all the keyframes, and right click on any of the keyframe. Go to Keyframe Assistant. Choose easy is easy is in easy as well. These are all more complicated things. So just click on easy is, and that means I'll show you what's happening. As all the keyframes are selected, go to the graph editor. Now you see these lines are linear from. One keyframe to another keyframe, you have linear lines. But as and when you apply keyframe interpolation, they will change to curve. Let's see that. Go to the graph editor again. See, everything is changed to curves. You have ups and downs, which makes the animation smooth. You have a little bit rhythm, not linear, and looks robust. So that is the good method to give keyframe interpolation to your animation. Don't forget to do that. Okay. And now let's see how smooth the animation is. As all the layers selected, click this arrow for one layer. So every arrow will be. If you think she is walking too fast, you can make it slow by increasing the frame rate. So go to 
composition settings and from the frame rate um, as you increase the frame rate the animation looks more smooth okay let's first check let's keep it 16 As the as we increase the frame rate, we have only few frames because we trim the work area, right? Along with the frame rate, increase increase this duration also. For now, let's keep one here and after we check maybe so that all the layers once again and increase them as the all the layers selected press u to bring up the keyframes so the animation is ending up here Press N to end the work area. And now play and see. It's smooth, right? And that's it. Your animation part is done. You can. Now create another composition. 1920 into 1080. Name it main. Now you have the main composition area. Um, go to composition settings, make the background white color. Okay. Bring that so your character composition is here, right? Double double tap that one, you have the animation here. So go to main composition, drag that character and drop it here. And now we can you can add shadow for your character if you want. Duplicate that. Um, duplicate or else select that one press ctrl d to duplicate that one and go to transformation or right click on there go to transformations with wet curl no it's with wet curl it's Now go to our effects and presets. Type fill, fill, choose it darker color, um, blur, mm -hmm. fast blur, wins, fast blur. Not too much, little, little bit. And now, screw this dot. So, 
Do you want to do this? With the player selected, go to the effects and from the transformation, apply and distort transform. So in the transform, we have skew effect, right? It's screen inside you, but we don't that. So change it to and do this and screw it now. to center move it move null object just parent them to this null object and now scale the null object this is the perfect thing but you see when I scale the null object, we got this the character is blurred. Don't worry for that. So go to the inside of character and on the continuous rasterization for all the layers. Select all the layers and this one is called continuously rasterize. Yeah. Now come to our main layer, see, we got the short edges now, it's not blurred. As the quality, as the quality is in half, you're seeing a little bit blur, but you keep that option in full, see the clarity of the picture. Press M there. See, the walk is going on seamlessly, it's looking very perfect along with its shadow. Now, if you want to make that GIF, that's very simple. So, our animation path is completed. Now, we need to make it GIF, right? Okay, let's pause this. So, go to composition, add to render queue. Now, our main composition is added to render queue. So, settings should always be best. And resolution is full. Frame rate use comps frame rate. Whatever the frame rate we use in the composition, it should maintain that. If you want to change that, then you can select this option and enter whatever the frame rate you want. Okay. Close less. Go to the no. format to time. Format options. I think H264 is not supporting in later versions of Adobe products. That's not a problem. Keep it for animation. RGB, yeah. We, we are not 
using RGB plus alpha because we we are maintaining the animation with white background itself. We don't want it transparent. If you want the animation background in transparent mode, you can choose RGB plus alpha. Okay, and this is looking perfect. And now name your output. Hit render, wait for the render complete. Render is completed. When the render is completed, go to output module. This view and on that, it will open output file. We got that output file. So let's close our after effects. Let's close it. And open our Photoshop. Okay, friends. And if you want to upload this animation as a GIF in Dribble, create a new document for Dribble with with uh, two pixels, with its width eight hundred, and with its height six hundred. Keep the resolution seventy two. Click on OK. There you go. Our document is created. And go to our render file, drag it there, and drop it into the, our canvas. If you want, you can scale it up. Let's see. Windows timeline. Windows timeline. Windows timeline. Create video timeline. Go to video timeline. It's been playing. Right. So go to file. Save for web. Press Control Shift or S to bring up the shape of the purple. So on here you can see the output file size. So I want it forever for the so that means it will loop the animation. And uh, let's click and see. The quality is perfect, and as well as the file size also. So press save button. Choose your output folder. Minute. Work cycle and show it. I hope it's same. So if you open that in browser, you can see that that's cool and perfect, right? Okay, friends, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial please don't forget to share it and always leave your valuable comments which will help us and please subscribe it thank you we'll meet in next tutorial till then
बाय टेक केयर बी सेफ बी हेल्थी